friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. So I'm excited about today's video. It's a collab with one of my friends here on YouTube. Her name is Lindsay from Nerdy Girl Makeup. I will have her channel linked down below. She does a lot of really cool videos. She plays with a lot of cool, quirky, hot topic makeup and it makes me want to venture into that realm of makeup so bad because it's so cute. She's been doing a lot of Throwback Thursday videos where she plays with a palette she hasn't touched in a long time and it's really interesting to see her play with those. She's really well spoken. She's really good with her reviews and her videos and things like that and I highly recommend checking her out. She's so cute. She's so sweet. Thank you so much for wanting to collab with me, Lindsay. I'm so excited to see what you create in this video. I guess I should actually tell you what this video is. Is. So basically we decided to do a palette bingo together and we kind of just figured out which palettes we both owned and then we just narrowed it down until we had three palettes and we're gonna do two shades from each palette palette bingo form. So the palettes that we're gonna be playing with are drastically different. It's gonna be the Dragon Child palette from Menagerie Cosmetics which looks like this. Very colorful. The Norvina palette which looks like this and the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette which looks like this. So we're working with three very different color stories and I'm really excited to see what happens. We're gonna do the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette first. There are 15 shades so I just have one through 15 entered on here and we're going to generate two numbers. We got number seven. So we have Filthy Rich which is this gold metallic-y kind of shade and we got two which is Taste Buds. I love Taste Buds. This is such a cute pinky coral shade. Off to a good start. I was worried we were going to get two metallics. I was worried, I'm worried that we're going to get nothing but metallics. Moving on now to the Norvina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I already entered 1 through 14 on here. So the first number we got is number 7. 7 again, okay. So the first one is Drama, which is this dark shimmery purple color. And we got... Four, which is rose gold. We are getting so many metallics, oh my gosh. And it's literally what it claims to be. It's a rose gold. At least drama's not super metallic. I can make that one work. And finally, the Menagerie Cosmetics Dragon Child palette. There are 12 shades. So, number five. We got Stone Drake, which is this light purple color. So far this color story actually doesn't seem too crazy. <laughs> And we got number 10. We got Cave Dweller. This dark matte blue color. Okay, this is actually not a bad color story. I kind of dig it, actually. We got three mattes, three shimmers, and the shimmer drama right here isn't as crazy metallic as like these two. So I can probably make this one work as like a matte shade as well. I have a vague idea of what I'm gonna do. So let me just go ahead and prime my eyes and get you guys zoomed in and we'll get to playing. So I'm going to dip into the Dragon Child palette first and I'm going to take a Cave Dweller right here. And I'm just taking that on this small elf pointed eye pencil brush. And I'm going to just start working that right in the very lower part of the crease. I really love doing these palette bingos just because it makes me play with color combos I wouldn't have necessarily picked out on my own. I'm going to go ahead and take this underneath the lower lash line as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and dip into Stone Drake right here. And I'm taking this on a Spectrum B06. It's just a kind of medium sized blending brush. And I'm going to blend this right above that Cave Dweller shade. This is so pretty already. I love it. I'm going to dip into the Thirsty palette now and I'm going to take Taste Buds. And I'm taking that on a Wet n Wild blending brush. It's the biggest blending brush of the three. And I'm just going to pop this kind of right on the tippy top of everything. And underneath that lower lash line, of course, just right along the outside edge.
And I'm just gonna go back in with that second brush just to meet in the middle, just a little bit more. Now I'm gonna dip into the Anastasia Norvina palette and I'm gonna dip into Drama and this is just a little Luxie 131 brush. And I'm gonna tuck this in this outer corner of the eye. And then I'm just gonna go back in with that very first brush just to buff this edge out a little bit more. And I want to do a half cut crease. I know, I know I do a lot of those. But that's just what I wanna do, I apologize. You don't have to do the half cut crease if you don't want to. I'm just taking my ColourPop concealer and this is a ColourPop brush actually, this is the E8. It's just kind of flat and I put concealer on looked up so I can see where it transfers, so I can see where I need to cut my crease at. And I'm just kind of following that line. And I'm just gonna stop it right about where we had that drama shade built up. Because I don't wanna cover that, I just want this front half to be cut. And now that the crease is cut, I'm dipping back into the Norvina palette and I'm going to take that rose gold shade. And I'm just taking this on a random shadow brush. This is the SL Miss Glam N15, but it's just an eyeshadow brush. It doesn't really matter. I'm just packing this everywhere that we placed concealer. This feels like a neutral look to me. It's crazy. Like, I know I have a ton of blue and purple in the crease, but this feels like a neutral look. A little bit of fallout from that shade, it's okay. And I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of drama just to re-deepen and intensify this outer corner and smudge it into that rose gold. And now all that's left is the inner corner, so we're dipping into Jeffree Star's Filthy Rich. I'm gonna try it on this teeny tiny brush. This is an M213 from Morphe. Might have to use my finger though. Oh no, this brush is doing fine. This literally feels so neutral to me. It's so weird. But it's really pretty, I like it. I feel like this came out so normal and it could have been so crazy because these are such drastically different palettes, but I like it. I'm gonna do the other eye, potentially throw on liner, lashes, lipstick, things like that. And I will be back to finish this video up. So this is the final look. I hope you like it. I ended up not doing liner or falsies because I have to leave for work soon and I haven't eaten yet and I'm gonna have a very long day and if I don't eat, it's gonna be rough. So I went with just mascara, which I know some of you will appreciate anyways because I almost always wear falsies. I like this look. I think it's pretty. It feels very neutral to me, even though it's not neutral. It's blue and rose gold and gold but <laughs> it feels very neutral to me these blues do not feel like a color they feel like a neutral in my mind I like it I think it's really pretty I think I got very lucky with what I was dealt because it could have been very off the wall with all those palettes and it was fun thanks again Lindsay for collabing with me because this was a really good idea I like the palettes that we chose and I'm really excited to see what you got hopefully you got as lucky as I did and can make a really cohesive look out of it because I was scared I was preparing to wear glasses today if it was that crazy of a color combo. If you enjoyed this multi-palette bingo, then please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Beat Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe here before you leave. I post every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Let me know what videos you want to see on my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Okay, bye.